this lesson is on vectors and being able to represent uh, vectors in algebra and combinations of vectors uh, pictorially. Uh, it also looks at uh, parallel vectors and uh, vectors going in the opposite direction. Using algebra to describe vectors in this example, uh, what I'm going to do is use this diagram to go uh, through some of the key points for vectors. So first part, uh, if you look at this, okay, we've got uh, vector A here between A and B and vector B. And so what we, uh, when you're using algebra, what we need to remember, okay, we're not going to uh, be writing the column vectors, the numbers for the x and y each time. So we can then just refer to the, the vectors themselves to make it a lot easier whilst we're doing uh, some of the working out. So in this example, what we need to think about is the starting point, so that's A. So each corner is given the capital letter. So from to go from A to B, so the way that we can write this is A to B, and with the arrow is equal to vector A. So I'm looking at the direction of the arrow, and I like, uh, before I'm going to write down the lowercase a underlined. And sometimes you'll see the uh, lowercase letter in bold as well. So next part, uh, if I look at this uh, second part, the second to go from A to D, again, capital A to D, it's a vector B. Now, to go from B to A, uh, A, capital B to capital A, I can again draw uh, the arrow above and telling me the direction I'm going from B to A, from B to A. This time, because I'm going in the opposite direction to the arrow, I'm going to write down minus A. So this is now minus A. And again, to go from D to A, is equal to minus b. So going in the direction of the arrow will be a positive vector. Going in the opposite direction to the arrow, it will be a negative uh, vector. The other thing is, uh, this is if this uh, this is a parallelogram, and so therefore, opposite lengths will be opposite sides of the parallel parallelogram will be the same. So if that is vector A, this will also be vector A as well. The opposite sides uh, are the same, going in the same direction because they're parallel, but also they're the same length in, in a parallel. So those that's vector A. And again, vector B is also there. So this is also vector B because again, they're going parallel and also the same length. Now, if I'm traveling from A to C, I can write A to C. Now, I need to look at the path that I'm going to take because there's no direct path to go from A to C. So if I go, uh, let's follow this path above here. So I'm going to go from A to B first. So A to B goes from there to there. And then I go from B to C, B to C. And that will take me from A to C. Well, the vector for A to B is A. And the vector from B to C is B. So uh, lowercase b. So A to C is equal to A plus B. So that's my uh, vector for resultant vector for A to C. Uh, if I'm going the other way, I can write, uh, again, I can do C uh, to A, and again, follow the path, it, uh, and again, I can e even go this way, uh, the resultant vector should be giving me the same answer. So if I'm minus, uh, this time it'll be minus A, because I'm going in the opposite direction to the arrow, so that'll be minus A, and then D to A will be minus B. So minus A, minus B, going in the opposite direction, so these two are going in the opposite direction. So for the next part, we look at uh, parallel vectors. So here's uh, a, a vector that goes in the, this direction. So again, um, going from two points, and I can draw the arrow 
thing from there to there, call that point A, point B, and I can call that vector A. So vector A, going from point A to B. Now, if I've got a parallel vector, uh, a parallel vector has to go, a parallel line will be the same direction. So again, I'm going to go in the same uh, direction, goes from there, but this time I'm going to draw the line twice as big. So it's still going in the same direction, and let's call this point C and D. So this now, because it's twice as uh, big as A in the same direction, this is now called uh, vector 2A. In this example, we've got uh, this triangle with uh, the corners labeled A, B, C, uh, and also we've got the vectors A and B. And we're told that A and A to M, A to M is equal to vector A, A to B is vector B, and the midpoint of A, C is M, and midpoint of B, C is, vector, uh, is point N. And we asked uh, to work out different uh, vectors for this. So first part, A, C. Well, if that is the midpoint of our line, A, C, then that means that that will also be the same distance. So that from A to M is equal to M to C. So therefore, this is also going to be vector A. So this bit from M to C is vector A. So to go from A to C is equal to uh, A, M plus M, C, and that equals 2A. Go from B to C. So if we go from B to C, well, because we don't know what this vector is, I'm, I can follow this path going in this direction. So if I start from uh, B, that'll be uh, minus B, going in the opposite direction to this vector B. So minus B and plus 2A. So BC is equal to minus vector B plus 2A. So next question, we've got the vector C to B. So if you look at uh, it's the opposite of this vector, so we should expect this to be in the opposite way. So if I follow the path, so this time it's from C, starting from C and going to B, I'm going to go uh, this time it'll be minus 2A plus B. So minus 2A plus B. And if I uh, again compare it to this, it's, uh, it's the same vector in the opposite direction. So the B is uh, the opposite sign and the a is the opposite a vector is opposite sign so minus 2a the so cb is equal to minus 2a plus b for the next question we've got b to m so if i follow the path from b to m so b following it around this way minus b plus a so bm is equal to minus b plus a and i can also write this as a minus b. What I've done is swap the letters over, making sure I keep the, the negative with the b vector, so a minus b. c to n. Well, c to n is a half of c b. Because we're told that that's the midpoint, so if b c is the full length and n is the midpoint then c to n will be half of cb so half and we can write half and in bracket cb well we worked out cb earlier on was minus 2a plus b or we can expand the bracket out half of 2a minus 2a is uh, minus a plus a half of vector b and again both answers are correct and for the last one m to n and again i can go either this way or uh, go to c for m to 
So I can go to M to C and then C to N. Well, M to C is equal to vector A and C to N is what we just worked out here is equal to minus A plus a half B. So that, so A minus A is equal to zero. So we're only left with half B. So M to N is equal to half of vector B. So that means that that line there, that distance there, is half of this going in the same direction, but it's only half that distance. So your task for this lesson uh, is, here's a diagram uh, with vector A going from O to A and vector F going to O to F. And I want you to complete uh, three from each box. Work out the vector that goes from A to B, for example. And, and these are all par parallelograms. And I want to do three uh, vectors from each one, make sure they're labeled correctly. So that's your first part of the task. The second part of your task is to work out five of these vectors. So use the diagram and use the information here yeah, at the start of the question to work out five of any five of these vectors. Once you've done those questions, make sure you take a photo of your work and then upload it onto class charts for you to have completed the work for this lesson.